Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. Today I want to talk about component color in an assembly. Component color is color that's applied only to a particular part or component uh, at the assembly level. It does not affect the original part color. Uh, it's only here at the assembly level. And the reason for this is so that we can keep our eye on certain parts. Maybe we've got unfinished operations, or maybe we just need to make sure something doesn't move. Any number of reasons why we might want to keep our eye on something. So if I want to put component color on something, uh, I can just click on it and of course go right to the little beach ball, you know, the appearance icon. Uh, there's five icons here in the assembly. The top icon is not there in a part file, only here in the assembly file, and this is for component color only. So basically when I uh, execute that, over here on the left, a little dialog comes up and it's a little different than normal because it's got these two little check boxes and apply at component level is the one that's checked on. Now we could affect the color of the entire part file by checking the second one. Well we don't want to do that. We only want to change the color of this component uh, or maybe a couple other components also. Maybe I want to keep my eye on that one uh, and uh, uh, let's see maybe that one. Okay so for whatever reason, I want to make sure that those things stand out. So I put component color on those uh, and then just say OK. Well, handy dandy. Now, if I want to look at this stuff later on, a little bit, uh, let's get this thing over here close to the bar here, and I can fly the, uh, uh, up here at the top, we got a little arrow. Uh, I can fly this uh, bar out here and we can look at this and we can see that there's color here um, in this one column. Now if we look here this is the color of the part. There's the two little triangles one on top of the other. The upper triangle is orange. That's the color of the component here in the assembly only. The bottom one is the color of the part. This one does not have component color. No component color. None. None. This one has component color and the part color none none component color etc okay so if I want to do something with those you know um, I can click on that and I can go right to appearance copy appearance paste appearance or I can remove that appearance now this this dialogue varies slightly from 2015 and before this is 2016 here uh, and they've changed this it says remove all part appearances where the previous versions of SOLIDWORKS said remove all component appearances okay so if I want to remove a part appearance I mean a component appearance I just select it here uh, and just click remove appearance uh, and it removes it uh, for us immediately okay so I can fly that in or fly that out anytime I want uh, to do that so that's really about all there is to component appearances here. Uh, again, it's so we can keep our eye on things, maybe for unfinished operations or something, make sure something doesn't move. Component appearance is a very handy thing, does not affect the part uh, file color at all, only the component here at the assembly level. Thank you very much. This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer, Go Engineer, wishing you happy component coloring. Mm -hmm.